Hey beautiful soul seeker. Now one of the most important factors that we need to embrace when we are aiming to live more in alignment with our soul is to find more stillness in life. As you'll be aware, life for most humans is super busy, it's chaotic, there is a lot of stimuli coming from all directions, externally, in the household, and especially in our own minds and our bodies. So much going on. Now why this is not so ideal is that without that space that stillness provides, we really don't have a opportunity, an opportunity to hear our intuition, to listen to the whispers that our soul is redirecting us with. And this is like anything in life. You cannot create anything without space. Think about it. You can't build a house until you've got some land. You can't even create a lounge unless you have a space or a room or a house to do something in. We really need space to create anything new and to hear our own selves think. We all know what it's like to just have so much going on in our head and really the balance between having our head used for logic and sensible bill paying crossing the road kind of stuff and tapping into our heart so that we can follow that innate guidance is in fact a way more peaceful way of living. A lot of people find it difficult to trust that process initially because it's so foreign to the average human because we learn to live in this busy world. Yet it's possible and it's possible to do it step by step. It's not an overnight success, it's a process, it's a practice. And I'm going to show you something that's a simple ritual you can include into your day that helps calm the mind and that means also calm the central nervous system, de-stress, relax, be still and connect back to yourself. Often we're living outside of ourselves, rushing, thinking and it's important to be. Now meditation itself is a tricky thing for many people and this is why I suggest using a breath work and some other factors to distract your mind and allow you to focus on something more simple so that you can rest within and over time it gets easier and over time you can build on this practice. So but to begin with we're very much about the posture because being a spiritually focused person you want to embrace who you are as a human as well. So that's about standing tall, sitting tall, heart open, shoulders back, head high, sitting bones on the floor or the chair and really enabling that invisible flow of energy to simply work for you. Sitting straight is in fact a meditation in itself. Taking a conscious breath with that process is a simple form of meditation. If in the middle of any busy day you stop and simply take two or three conscious breaths, you know that just calms you down a little bit. Therefore imagine the accumulation of this over and over again as a daily ritual just as you might clean your teeth every day. So once you've got your posture, closing your eyes down, you can choose to focus on your third eye, a space in the middle of your two eyebrows. And this is once again one way to help the mind to stay focused on something other than thoughts. And within that we then add in a breath work, a breath technique that you can also put your mind to because it is quite incredible how many thoughts we can have in one second. You can be counting and writing your shopping list at the same time. You can be driving and having a conversation on the phone and eating something at the same time. Crazy times. This breathing technique is also imagining you breathing in the 
nectar of life, breathing in the goodness, breathing in your desires. And this is how we do it. I, you literally pretend you have a straw in your mouth and you suck in the air. It's very cooling and you breathe out the nose. And when you breathe out, when you exhale, you take as long as you need to do a full exhale. When you fully release the exhale, the inhale naturally happens itself. And that's very symbolic of when you let go of the debris in your life, the hang-ups, the resentment, when you fully exhale all the BS, you can then embrace more glory and more happiness and more love in your life. And so it looks a little bit like this. And even three breaths is good enough. However, try doing it for 10 minutes or as much of that as possible. When you breathe in, you slowly fill up from the base up into your heart. And it's as if you're watching a balloon expand with the blissful happiness, the love of life. And that is a simple exercise for you to do in your own time. I do suggest that you Google some tranquil music that has no words online and find a track that is soothing for you and that way you can really allow yourself to drop into it, soften and just be for a few moments. <laughs> 